Three, two, and one. Under a minute. Well done, athletes. Eyes on me. Strict press. PVC pipe in hand, facing me. I was very serious. Strict press, big deal. Set your feet to hip width. If you're open to it, I'm going to bring your feet a smidge closer together, a metric smidge. Alex, if you're open to it, feet a bit closer for you. Ross, if you're open to it, watch my feet, please. Hands just outside thighs on that bar. Bring it up to the shoulders. Where are the elbows in relation to the bar? Yeah, we sometimes call this down and out. Get a full grip on that bar in case Chris comes over and rips it out of your hands. It's okay. Right here. It's just about to go out. <laughs> we cannot take her anywhere. Alex, watch me. Well done. Move your head forward and back a bit. Yeah. We got to get that noggin out of the way of the bar. Brace. Move the head back. Slowly press overhead. Press, press, press. Andy, can you tighten up your belly? Yes. Gray smile. <laughs> yes. Ross, can you move your bar that way a smidge? And now back a little bit. Can you press higher? And can you pull your shoulders almost like you're going to pull it? How's that feel? Have you injured that left shoulder before? Is that the one that gets you? Yeah. Okay. Slowly bring it back to your rack position. One of the reasons we have PVC pipe is we can keep that overhead quite a bit. Andy, I'm going to have you go over there and trade places with Zach, okay? All right. I used to teach kindergarten, Thomas. Brace. Head goes back. Press. Define brace. Oh, that's a great question. Brace could be jargony. I want you to tighten up your belly so tight that if Chris came over and punched you in the gut, he'd break his hand. Cyril, that overhead position looks pretty good. Can you tighten your belly more for me, Ross? Right now you're a little here, I want to get you here. A little better, slowly reset. Athletes, I'm trying to give one coaching cue minimum per rep. Elbows in front of that bar, brace and press. Seat up, nice job. Reset, grace, that overhead position looks really good. This has gotten better, progress not perfection, nice job. Reset that bar for me, Zach. Reset that bar for me, Thomas. Relax for a second. What did you feel on that movement, Cyril? Straighten my shoulders. Are your shoulders bugging you after Friday Night Lights? Probably a little bit. Yeah, yeah. That's good to know, because I'm not going to have you do 100 kipping pull-ups. <laughs> right? And if at some point you can't have that overhead because you need your body to do your job, you're going to do what you need to do, and I trust your judgment. Is there, is there ever a time when you want to shrug? So originally, in like 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007, the level ones that I observed taught this at the top. And I don't mind that. I used to teach that as well. I'm now a bigger fan of this. If you go to a burger seminar, they're going to have you pull this in. They call it bone on bone or an active shoulder or a stacked shoulder, especially for overhead squats or the receive on a snatch. But there is a time that I'd like to see if you could get those upper traps involved to really get right there. Wayne, what's your thought on that? Uh, shoulders down and back. Yeah, same thing. So not shrug. Not shrug. A lot of times a shrug would promote uh, non-neutral spine. Yeah, unconsciously, it'll just happen. Where do the feet go? Hips. Where do the hands go? Yes. Where's your weight loaded on your feet? 
And for this one, it's, it's a non-event, right? Where are the knees pointed? What's going on in your hips? Hopefully they're fully extended, otherwise things have gone horribly wrong. What's going on with your back or your spine? See what we fixed on you, Alex? That'll be really important because you can move some weight and you can move it quickly. And if you are here, something's going to give. What's going on with the shoulder? Chris mentioned it and Wayne backed him up. They're active in what way? Yeah, I like that. What was the travel path on that bar? Yeah, so we moved the head out of the way, creating multiple chins for great pictures for our social medias. Talk to me about range of motion. What happened with that range of motion on that bar? Slightly being the key word there. Almost every barbell movement has a slight Christmas tree hook on it. So it's not going straight up and down, it's going up and slightly back, with the exception of the deadlift, which might actually come forward slightly, depending on where everything is at the top. But any Olympic lift, it's going to come up and slightly back, or that press is going to come up and slightly back to be more in line with the front or plane, the midline of the body. Was core to extremity a part of that? Andy and I talked about this in one of them. Kind of yes, kind of no. We have nine people. That means we can do a small group of three in each one of the small groups today. Why a small group? It gives you an opportunity to lead, to teach, see, and correct this with your small group of three people. Wayne is going to take one small group over here by the dumbbells of three people, it'll be he and two others. Zach's going to take one group into the weightlifting room, and then Cyril's going to take one group into the turf room. Once you have yourself and two other people, that's your group of three. Get that set up now in one of those three rooms. Cyril, when you go in the turf room, can you turn on the lights for the weightlifting room for Zach? Yeah. 